Hi, it is Jane here from Avoda Business Advisory. Just wanting to share with you how to send statements to your customers. Uh, so there's two ways to do this. The first way I'm going to show you is just by going into their contact file. So you want to click on contacts, most likely all contacts, um, or you can click on customers or suppliers, depending on how many customers or suppliers you have. Um, once you get to a certain amount of customers and suppliers, it will start to separate them out. Um, but just for this demo, we'll click on all contacts. That covers everything. And then you just want to search for your customer. And that's the one I'm after. Okay, so you can see all the activity just down at the left side there. You just want to click on options and go send statements. Now, the details at the top here can be adjusted. You can change it from activity to outstanding. Now, outstanding is obviously everything um, that hasn't been paid. Uh, so you can update that. So we can see that as at the 31st of August, they didn't have, um, they had this invoice not paid. Um, so if we pop it onto today's date, um, which is probably what you most likely want to do if you're chasing outstanding invoices, you can see they've got nothing there. And I know it's like that because um, it was marked as paid on the 5th of September. All right, so in some cases you might want to see all the activity and you might want to see it uh, for a few months. Uh, so for this example, we'll do July until August. So this can be handy if your customer is trying to reconcile accounts at their end and they want to see um, where their invoices have been paid or where money's been allocated and so forth. So yeah, you've got that there and then you it's as simple as clicking email, making sure the to box has the correct email. You can keep the subject as is or you can change that if you like. Uh, and just ensure this message is correct. So you may want to update that to the person's first name. Uh, for example, you might say, hi, John, um, just to make that look a little bit neater. Uh, and then, yeah, you can tick that box there to send yourself a copy as well. Um, another option is to print a PDF and then just attach it into an external email. Uh, okay, so the second way um, is to go to your invoices. So business and invoices. And we can see here there is a send statements button. Just want to click on that. Uh, once again, it's very similar. You can update sort by activity or outstanding and change the dates. So for this example, we'll choose today's date just to see what we actually have outstanding to chase for payment uh, for today's date. Uh, and let's chase, take that to outstanding as well. Now it's only going to show the outstanding ones, which makes it just a little bit neater to see on the screen here. Uh, so this is handy because if you've got a lot of clients you want to send out statements to, you can actually tick the boxes and then go email. And then it will, as, as you get um, more customers here, uh, you'll see you'll see them all add in here. So we can see here that Caruthers and Ismail uh, is missing an email. So you just want to add that in. Um, and same as before, you can adjust all these details. Now, you because it's sending out to multiple people, you don't want to edit that. Um, if you edit that, it's going to send the same name um, to everyone. Uh, so just leave that as it is and that will just pull the information from the contact card. Uh, so it might be a good idea to check uh, what you have in your contacts for each of these uh, customers. All right, and then you'd hit send. Uh, same as before, you can also print a PDF and then attach that externally as well. All right, it's as simple as that. So if you found this video super helpful, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell button to get alerted for new videos. 
Uh, and yeah, we'll see you next time for the next training video. Thanks, guys.